very excited about the Bridge Multicultural and Advocacy Project. Artists for Israel and the Bridge is all about bringing people together. Love for the arts from various parts of the world, different boroughs, different religions. Italian, are from Chile, Jewish, Muslim. Bringing it here at a place where um, you have so many different cultures, um, it's special. I'm really excited to be a part of this program, this project tonight, and hopefully we can further develop some more projects. Educator perspective, also from a Haitian American abstract artist perspective, so this is amazing. Getting some artwork from the community, some of the uh, local public schools, uh, some of the senior centers, and showcasing this work in this space collectively. And I think that what that'll do is that'll draw the, the, the cross section of the seniors, the youth, the families, and the community at large. <laughs> I want you all to know and meet Mr. Mark Appel. All a passion from his heart, uh, completely self-motivated, uh, uh, completely self-funded project. Uh, how great is that to work with somebody who just wants to give back? No strings attached. I just can't tell you how great a gift it is to be here with Mark Appel and supporting him. Bridge Project was established to pursue one goal, one idea. To work together as a community in pursuit of peace, justice, irrespective of race, religion, or political affiliations. I know sometimes uh, we'll say uh, that when we hear about these attacks, and unfortunately we'll say that that's not who we are, that's not New York City, that's not uh, the United States. Unfortunately, sometimes it is. Our history shows us uh, that is sometimes who we are and what we do. But most importantly, when those things happen, uh, more of us are about responding. More of us are about making sure that people understand it won't be tolerated without the good people speaking up. And I think Mark Appel and many of the people in this room are continuing that tradition of the few people who can't fully understand uh, that we want to love more than we hate. We all want to live together. We want our children to grow up to be strong and healthy and contribute to the economy. And at the end of the day, though you may not know me, and though you may have all of these stereotypes about who I am, the reality is, is that I am just like you. I think it's a beautiful thing to be um, part of this program where we're bridging through art between cultures and the beauty about being in a, in a community and sharing the same faith, which is the art. I believe that we have a major Palestinian neighborhood, Pakistani neighborhood, major Jewish neighbors in Brooklyn, and we get along. Why? Because we have bridges. We have bridges. The more bridges we have to more communities, the more we'll be inclusive, the more harmonious we'll all be. And this is an absolute necessity. Mark has been a longtime champion of unity and solidarity, bringing all types of groups and communities across Brooklyn together. This reflects it. It reflects his great work. I mean, this is important because it reflects the beauty and diversity of Brooklyn, where all types of group, groups will be able to come together for cultural events and to come together to fight for social justice. He turned a old school into this beautiful facility, and we are indebted to him for doing so. Ready? Ready?